Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to Artistic License. This is my show on Thursdays where we do kind of um, whatever I feel like doing, right? Whatever I feel like doing, that's Artistic License. Uh, we usually start around 6.30ish. Um, we're starting on time today. We don't always though, because it's kind of like whenever I get done having dinner and then I um, feel ready to start after that. But we're here on time today. Um, so what we're gonna do is kind of start with some uh announcements so you'll see and you've probably seen on my last couple of streams too i actually had a follower goal listed so you guys will see that when we kind of flip over to um to some of the other views i don't have it on the webcam only view but on some of the others i have it so you'll see that trying to get 75 followers by the uh end of the year we'll see if that happens uh, i just think that would be like a cool little a cool little goal for us to do um also Let's take a moment to talk about yesterday's episode of Spare Room. So I'm gonna just flip over to that. Okay, so if y'all haven't seen it yet, the episode yesterday of Spare Room was kind of a new thing for me, right? So it was kind of a new thing. Oh, that text isn't supposed to be there. Hang on, let me see if I can get rid of that. No, I can't. I, I screwed that up, it looks like. Let's see. Uh, yeah, if I get rid of the background, it's just not there. Well, that's okay. We can go without the background. Um, so the, uh, the episode that we had yesterday was kind of a new thing for me. We did top uh, vampire tropes, and, uh, and I really had a lot of fun editing this one. It was so funny when I very first uploaded it because if you've seen it, it has a bunch of clips from like movies and TV shows and things like that in it. And, uh, <laughs> and essentially what that means is when I very, very first uploaded it, it got one of those automatic copyright uh, claims against it. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. Um, so I had to, luckily it tells you exactly in the, in the automatic one what it's detecting. And it was clear this was done by a computer because it was literally like seconds after I uploaded it, right? Like it was instant. Obviously nobody watched the video. So I had to take it down swap out some of the clips for some other stuff. Um, but, uh, so there was originally a clip of one of the underworld fight scenes in there, which I just think is such a cool clip. But it didn't make it into the video because Sony is apparently very um, hands-on <laughs> with uh, what they put into the system. So whatever they put into the system is like, really, they're really particular about it, I guess, because it got automatically detected. So that got taken out. Some other clips got put in, um, which I ended up liking some of the clips that I picked better as far as being appropriate for the topic that I was talking about. So all in all, it was good, but I just thought that was really, really interesting. Um, since this is kind of a new uh, type of video for me, I would really, really appreciate if you guys would go take a look at it, you know, show it some love. Um, it's something where uh, I've just not done this type of thing before, so I just found it really, I just I just would really like to know how you guys, what you guys think about it. Um, I got a really, really nice comment on it, that's why I picked up my phone here, because I want to read this. Um, Mike left me such the most beautiful um, comment. Uh, he says, this is your most quotable video yet, so thank you very much, Mike. Um, clearly you're into this trope. Yeah, definitely. I've done a lot of uh, vampire supernatural type of role plays, so... Very, very into that. Um, and he also compliments kind of the editing work and stuff like that. I'm trying my best to up kind of my editing game for you guys, right? Uh, that's something that I want to get better at. You know, it's 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 kind of like unique to the YouTube medium as far as, you know, work that I've done and, and things of that nature. So, um, so, you know, it's something that I'm working on. So I put a lot more work into this particular video as far as editing goes. So that is what it is. Um, but that's really it. That's really all of the uh, the updates that I kind of had for you guys today. So we're going to get pretty quickly into the game. So let me go ahead and get this going. So I am going to play a game called Outlast. Um, I'm going in blind. I have never played this game before. Okay, it should be loading up. Come on, Twitch, show the game. Oh, my controller died. Come on, controller. Don't make me have to reconnect you. Oh, I have to get up. No, there we go. All right. I'm going to make the volume just like that. I think that's not super loud. It's not super louder than my voice. 
I think that's probably okay. All right, hopefully the balance is good. Y'all tell me if it's not. So we're gonna hit apply to that. Um, I've never played this game before. I actually really don't play horror games. <laughs> so um, we'll see how this goes. I'm going into this, like I said, completely blind. I've never played this game before. Um, and I really don't play horror games because the truth is they kind of freak me out. So let's see how this goes. Outlast. Um, I am not above uh, tips and things in the chat. So feel free in the chat if you want to tell me some things about this game. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. Why would I do anything other than normal? Let's do normal. Okay. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Oh, I will. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into these stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Oh, Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are run, hide, or die. All right, well, I'm going to try to choose um, run and hide as often as I can and not die. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how successful we're going to be because, like I said, I really don't play horror games. And uh, I've never played this one. But I decided for Halloween I wanted to play a scary game. But since I don't know anything about them, I asked my husband, like, what's a scary game you think I'd enjoy? <gasps> oh, hey, Naomi. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you're up so late. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, but I asked him, like, what I should play. And he was like, well, um, you don't have to fight anything in this one. And I was like, oh, OK. Um, <laughs> we'll see how good that tip goes. <clears throat> All right, we're just driving. Oh, there's the asylum. All right. Naomi, I cannot believe you're still awake. Oh my gosh. I hope you're at least like in bed or laying down or resting or something. Okay. What's happening? Okay. September 17th, 2013. Illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. Oh, shit. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs, and I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Oh, shoot. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, definitely. Yes, we were watching you play a horror game in the dark. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, what's happening? There we go. Okay, B closes it. Okay, you gotta put the batteries in the- <gasps> Lar, hey! Oh my gosh! Don't run away! <laughs> well, or do run away. That's what I'm supposed to do in this game, apparently. No fighting. I'm supposed to run and hide. Alright. Got my camera going. Cool. Oh, it would be storming tonight while um, we're going into this creepy asylum. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook. Start containing your notes and picked up documents. Okay. Oh, that's the jump button. Can I not go in there? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, what's going on with the computer there? Can I not access it? Oh, okay. Apparently beat a crouch. What does this button do? Oh. I did something to my camera. Mochi. Mochi! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Ty, you're back! It's been so long since you've been on one of these streams. I've, I've missed you. Um, and Mochi, I love that you keep coming back over and over to these streams. Um, you're like such a wonderful new face here. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to abandon my car. Um, there's the car gate, but this is the human gate. Okay, press X. 
can slowly hold X. I can hold it, open it slowly. Okay. Right button to raise your camcorder. Yeah, um, Mochi, the truth is I don't love horror games. Shit, what is that noise? Um, <laughs> so I really don't know anything about this game. Okay, notes are only added when the camcorder is raised to record events. Is there any reason not to have camcorder raised? Oh, what is that? Go talk to this man. Aw, uh, thank you so much, Mochi. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. Oh, no. Left button. Run. Okay. I thought I saw, like, a fig- I guess it was just the lock. I thought I saw, like, a figure-looking thing. Okay, anyways. Let's proceed. What's over here? I thought I saw a man, too. Yeah, I don't know. But then I got closer and he wasn't there. Did I just hear a gate noise? That gate open? Crouch or uncrouch with B. Well, let's go see what's going on with the front door first before we start sneaking around. This is a horror game, so that's probably a terrible idea, but who the fuck knows? Not me. I'm just a reporter. The game told me that. Oh, it's locked. Of course, I'm literally not allowed to go in the front door. My favorite kind of horror game is the 8-bit style. And yeah, pretty much, because those are, like, very hard to scare me, right? But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm already a little freaked out watching this. It wouldn't even let me go in through the front door, so here we go. I already figured out crouching, but I guess this is the teach me the crouching mechanic to the game. Okay, what do we got here? A little fountain. If you keep the camera up, the battery runs down. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can zoom. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. Um, and then you don't have night vision. Oh, so the camera helps give me the night vision. That makes sense. What's up here? Music change. That's not a good sign. There's some shit in this win windows. Kind of don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna go around here. Well, I guess this is where I was supposed to go because the tutorial's still happening. Okay. Oh no, there's gonna be jumping puzzles in this game. Okay. A to climb up more and then B to drop. Mm. I don't. I don't know about that. That looks. This looks dangerous. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Another one. These are clearly not meant to really be walked across like this. Um, okay. We're at the end. I don't know what was supposed to happen with that. Hmm. Why does it gotta do, like, the crazy violin flurry? That's so rude, game. You know, that freaks people out. Okay. Let's get off this little scaffolding. I guess I wasn't supposed to go this way. Oh, because I didn't jump. <laughs> I didn't jump and I let him get hurt. Okay. Well, let's actually, like, hop down. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So what's up here? Can I get in this door? There are more batteries spread around the building. Oh! So I gotta find more batteries. Okay, well I can't get in there. Okay. So in looking up just a few things about this game online, apparently it takes about five hours to complete the story, but I'm very- I don't play horror games. Right? And if y'all watched Among Us, you know that um, unless it's like a really chill, like, creative game, I'm pretty bad at most games. So uh, we'll see how far we get. 
uh, in the in the time that I typically will, you know, come on here and play. Okay, let's go back here because that was giving me tutorial prompts, so it makes me think, you know, this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Let's try this again. Am I supposed to do something with this? Is it just like a random... No, be nothing. See, I don't really see nothing over there either. Okay. Um... Let's go back out of this area. Oh, he didn't like falling like that. Oh well, man, sorry. Alright. There's something up? I didn't notice anything up. Okay, well anyway, let's go back. Ty, you've obviously played this game before. <gasps> At the building while standing on the board. Oh, maybe. I mean, that board is super suspicious, right? Okay, let's go back. I knew I was. I knew I was thinking like this was the way you were supposed to go. And I guess that betrays um, me in real life. Uh, looking up is not something that I typically do. <laughs> Okay. Aha! Oh, shit. Get out the crouch. Okay. Press A. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. What the fuck? Yeah, I think there was glass on it. Um. Do I have, like, a night vision or anything? Anyways. Oh, there we go. Press R. Aha! Now I can see. Okay. Let me close this door back behind me. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking spooked too. Um, the night vision is not a lot better. <laughs> yeah, Lar, um, if I wasn't streaming, that's probably what would happen to me. I would be like, oh fuck no, and be very done. Um, but, uh, you know, we're streaming, so I'm going to keep going and, um, and see what, what there is to see. Oh, fuck me up. <clears throat> okay, I'm supposed to open drawers and stuff. Look for oh, shit. What's happening? What the fuck was that? Uh, I have no idea. Squeeze through, move towards the gap. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm awake now. Oh, fuck. What am I supposed to do about my battery? Oh, because there's a delay because I'm playing a game?
Oh, fuck. Why did I think playing a horror game was a good idea? Oh my god. Oh, Find more batteries is just really low. Oh, yeah. Um, I understand. Maybe there's some in here. Oh, I'm leaving bloody footprints because I walked in the blood. That's fucking lovely. Can I, like, open these? Mm. Rose. Mm -mm. Let's see what's down here. Oh. Oh, I missed him. He looks like a scared man. I'm a scared man, too. Um. Oh, shit. That. just a game, Karen. It's just a game. They can't fucking get you in real life, even though it sure as fuck feels like that. Well, I guess I missed that. Oh, I don't want to get out the vent. The bad guys are going to find me. <laughs> ah, I don't want to get down, y'all. I don't want to get down. <sighs> okay. One bad thing about me playing horror games is I'm so fucking pale. And um, I don't know if y'all can see because the webcam is like small down in the corner. Uh, how red my face is getting. <laughs> and I have like another hour of this to play. Okay, get down. Go, go, go. There's all this glass so monsters can see me. Okay, so we've got this closed door and then the other closed door. I saw the guy over there, so I guess this is the way I should go. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay. I have to go this way. Thank you, Naomi, for the vote of confidence. I do not have such confidence in me. Can I, can I jump over you? Uh, no, I can just get stuck on the terrain. Okay, fantastic. Ah! Holy fuck! Uh, I totally missed filming it, uh, cause I screamed. Uh, fuck. Just go away for now. God damn. Ugh. Whew. I cannot do it, actually. Okay, I have to go back in that room. That's obviously the way I'm supposed to go. Motherfuckers. Okay. Dead body. Another dead body. That's just fabulous. And I'm gonna run out of batteries. Oh god, another one. Ah! Oh god. What? You have to hide. Okay. Um I gotta find more batteries. Holy fuck. Maybe in here? How do I, like, open drawers and shit? Well... I don't know... How 
the fuck? Okay. I feel like I should have found another pack of batteries by now and like I missed it. Because I don't... I don't know how to like open stuff. Or is it supposed to give me a prompt? I don't understand. What's all this on the floor? Come on. Dude, you are breathing so hard. Y'all, I just realized something. That guy was still alive, and I didn't even fucking try to say save, save him. Like, I made no attempt. I just left the room because he scared me because he was talking. <laughs> so that's great. I'm a wonderful person. Ah, shoot, though. Like, there's got to be... I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm just gonna close that. Why does he gotta close the door so loud, though? Don't trust Karen when the monsters- Yeah, fucking don't. Do not trust me when the monsters come. Uh, I'm just out. I'm Audi 5000, goodbye. He's <laughs> Karen. Uh, it's so funny. I'm, like, looking at y'all's comments, like, a little bit afterwards. After the, um, that's moments passed in the game, and I'm just fucking cracking up. Okay, I saw the- man go in there um there's got to be batteries around here somewhere before i go into the next scary as fuck room Little fake. oh god ah! oh, fuck <laughs> how do i get away oh my god oh shit was that supposed to happen Uh, I guess that was supposed to happen. Oh, hi. Who are you, then? I am terrified that's who I am. Whew. <clears throat> I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. Um, you have a calling. I think you might be asking for too much. Yo, my heart is racing so much. Oh, it's just a game. It's just a game. Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. Okay, I guess... Oh. What's this? Notes. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is be too, has to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. What's under here? Oh, that's the one I already read. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Alright, so he threw me from down there. I guess this is like the main lobby. Ooh. He dead too. That sucks. That's probably gonna be me. Oh, that's a document. Okay, let's go look at it. The Murkoff Corporation United States Office. Oh shit, that's a warrant. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. 
I'm like struggling to read because I'm like still like, whoo, so freaked out. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents by acceptance of this document. You surrender all claims of litigation, da 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 da, da regardless. Okay. Someone hang up the fucking phone. Okay. Mm. Is this boarded up? See the computer's on. This one open? Nope. There's a desk boarding it up. Oh, that's so weird. There's no way that's supposed to be there. If someone blocked it. Okay. Oh, but I can open this door. It was already open. Yep, I thought that was a dead body. Okay. Um. No, that's just the computer light. Another body. Yep. Gotta be batteries are fucking somewhere. The creaky floorboards, yeah. Oh my god. This man only brought a camera with night vision. Like, he should have brought a flashlight too. Like, for real. What's up with that, sir? Why did you not bring a flashlight? In here. More computers, files. What's that? Okay, so that's another one that we can read. Okay. I'm about to run out of batteries. All right. Oh, I meant to press this one. Let's look at this document. Project Wall Rider. Morphogenic engine actively plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Okay. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Like, does that mean fluid in the lungs? Bronchial accumulation? I think. I'm not sure. Um, Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilation. Oh shit. Restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous extensive dermal eruptions. This consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Oh yikes. Uh, seems to have boyhood experience with tuatara lizards and their parietal eye. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be regarding pro retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Oh, yikes. Poor man. That sounds awful. I feel so bad for him. I 
don't understand how I've seen any batteries yet. Like, I put it... I didn't put it on hard mode or anything. Exit. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Sir? Sir? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to approach him? Sir? Sir? There's more people. I don't understand. Um, and they're watching something really fucking bloody. Good lord. Um... <laughs> Looks like they have maybe bloody faces. Oh shit. I don't want you to slam the door on them. And if I close the door, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna fucking slam it. Did I get a new document or something? Oh. Broken and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching the dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Am I supposed to- maybe I'm supposed to talk to them. Like, there's got to be other friendly people in here, right? Hello? Sirs? Yeah, but I still gotta go- I can crouch, but I still have to go in front of them either way, I think. Like, it's blocking me. Maybe... Holy fuck. That fucking sucks. Poor guys. They're just like sitting there watching nothing. Blood splattered nothing. Stop crouching, sir.
Well, I can't get out there. A wheelchair man still sitting there. Whew, I don't know how much more of this I can play, y'all. I gotta be, like, fully honest. Uh, getting past those guys was really, really awful. Um, it's, like, really triggering a lot of, um, like, passive empathy in me. Uh, I know they're, like, fucking video game characters, but still, like, the game has told me they're people in, a, in an insane asylum, so it's like, ugh. Okay. <clears throat> I've only been playing for about 40 minutes. I'm going to try to do at least one more room. But uh, this is really a struggle for me. What the fuck is that? Okay. And this is why I struggle a lot with horror games. Because they're, like, intended to be, you know, something awful has happened and when it's a movie it's not a big deal because I'm just passively watching it you know same with a book like I'm passively reading it it's just happening but with a game like I have to control the the man and so oh there we go there's something and so it's kind of like I'm the one doing it I'm the one that's just like walking past these poor people and so it's like Ugh! Okay, the key card for security control. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have to go back through that way? I just came? Um, I guess we'll try. Go back through the poor TV people. Back past the poor wheelchair guy. Oh, there might be batteries inside the, uh, <laughs> inside the thing. Inside the fireplace. Like, I don't understand why I'm not calling the police if they're still- <gasps> AH! FUCK! OH FUCK! NO 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 NO! How do I get out? How do I break out? Holy fuck! How do I break out? Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. I think he just killed me. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he... Okay. Well, I'm just gonna run. Uh... Bye. Goodbye, scary sir. And we will just close that door. Oh, I can't close that door. Oh, oh, fuck. There's more blood. We will close this door. Ooh. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, I almost, fe <laughs> almost fell out the bed. Yeah, I feel that. Because <laughs> I feel like I almost fell out the chair. Um, <laughs> so it's so funny. I stream for about two hours. And um, always after stream, like, I really, really have to pee. Not today. Today, right now, I really, really have to pee. Like, this is literally scaring the, scared the piss out of me. <gasps> oh, my God. <sighs> okay. 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 Let's see. The background here, is this where I use the key card thingy? Where do I use the key card? Uh, come on now. Whew. My hands are like shaking. I can't do the controller. Another knocked over wheelchair. So sad. So, so sad. Okay. Well, that's the barred off door. Ooh. Key card to use the lift? Is that 
Is that what it's for? I guess security, in my mind, I expected to put it inside of a computer, but I think you play a lot more video games than me, Ty, so maybe you are right. Uh, guess we'll go up the scary Tower of Terror lift. Sounds like a good idea. That's what a normal person would do. They wouldn't, like, go back out the way they came and leave and call the police or anything like that. Ugh. It's an asylum security on the lifts and doors. Oh yeah, duh, it would be. Um, okay. Don't work. I didn't get any prompts or anything. Ugh. Guess I should go this way. Note that you can look behind holding the triggers. Oh shit. Um the fuck. Oh the fuck. He was just beating somebody up. He was just beating somebody up, y'all. <sighs> I don't think I can do it. Okay. <sighs> I don't <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Um, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> this was a fucking terrible idea, and like I kind of knew it when I chose this, but I was like, oh, it's Halloween, let's do something scary. But I really don't think I can. I'm so sorry, I just feel too bad. Okay, we're gonna stop this. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel too bad. I feel too bad for all these people, and um, and I don't want to get beat up. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up. <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> I can't do it no more. I love you guys. I can't do it. This is a bad idea. Yes, yes, we're gonna do that. <laughs> why did I think, why did I think this was a good, good plan? Why did I think this was a good plan? Um, I know myself. I thought, oh, it'll be, it's on stream, so I'll, like, power through it, but I literally can't. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Whatever. It's fine. We still, we still played for, like, 50 minutes, so we've, the stream's been going for about 50 minutes now. Um, so we still played for a while. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, let me get out of this. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but as y'all can see, like, um, this this is it. I, I This was brand new for me, and you can even see that here in my Steam. Playtime 15, my, 9 minutes. So y'all saw every single bit of my playing. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's do some Pokemon meme because that's chill and fun. Let me open up Photoshop and let's do that. And I guess y'all can kind of see here what other games I have. Most of them I've gotten from doing like um, Humble Bundles. And uh, and so that's that's where you'll see most of those. One thing also that I want to tell you guys is you should absolutely, definitely, absolutely come to Saturday's stream, Interstage Window, because we're going to be playing more Among Us. So last week... Here on um here we played Among Us with um with a bunch of people. It was super super fun, and um it was so much fun that we want to do it on the interstage window stream again, so that some more people that are in some different time zones, you know, that are more available on the Saturdays, can come and hang out with us on that. So we're gonna do that, but Saturday is actually Halloween, so price of admission for that particular stream is to share a role play horror story so start thinking about either some um stupid things that y'all have done in role play or some stupid things that have been done to you because you can share them as role play horror stories and um and now to ma now make sure we're going to actually uh scrub names so please don't share names of any anything any stories that you share no names you know no incriminating details stuff like that unless it's a story about you you can absolutely share your own name of course Oh no, Ty, you're going to be at work? Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh yeah, that's true. So of course you are. Full moon, blue moon. You're going to be busy. You're going to be busy. I do not envy you having to work on, um, <laughs> on October 31st, full moon and a blue moon. That is just going to be in fucking sane. Yeah, um, my heart goes out to you, Ty. My heart goes out like I, I can't even. Okay. Oh, I'm still really shaken from that game. Why did I do that? Why did I think this was a good idea, y'all? 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I couldn't go the full two hours. I'm so sorry. I had such high hopes for myself, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you make stretch goals and, um, and you know, they're stretch goals and, uh, and you, and you, you don't meet them. <laughs> so that's what happened, y'all. That's what happened. I made myself a stretch goal and it didn't happen. It's, you know, life's like that. <laughs> okay. So more Pokemon meme. Uh, as you all know, I've got some rules for myself for this meme. So legend only legendaries go in the legendary slot. I'm not going to put them in any of the other slots. No repeats, no mega forms, no Alolan forms or Galarian forms or any of that. We're just going to try to do like the straight up choices for this. So give me one second. I'm pulling up my notes on which Pokemons we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about some Gen eight Pokemon. And remember for that one, the website I like to use for searching for the Pokemon, um, it doesn't have the latest generation. So we actually go just to Cerebi. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I love you too. I love you guys. Thanks for, thanks for hanging in there with me. I know that was scary for a lot of you guys too. Um, I know how I feel when I watch certain people play games and it's like, Ugh, but um, it is a little bit easier to watch, <laughs> of course, than to participate. Okay. Um, we're going to actually do the fighting type for Gen 8. So let me find all the fighting types in here. And the fighting types. I know which one I picked, but I'm trying to find all of them. Yes, you can do Clawopus or Grappolict, I think is how you say him. And I feel like then there's another fighting type too. Oh yeah, there's Surfetched, of course. Um, and Fl Phalanx. Phalanx is um, kind of the meme one, right? So a lot of people probably like him. But I actually really, really love this um fighting octopus oh where'd he go i think i scrolled right past him there he is clobopus i think he's so cute bye ty thank you so much for coming um no i don't i guess i don't want to be famous if that's what you have to do to be famous uh you know that's how do i get rid of you oh my god oh my god what's happening uh let's is happening. Can I like ban you straight in here? Or do I have to actually go into Twitch? Yeah. Let's ban. Let's ban. Okay. There we go. What the fuck? Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. I think I banned them. That was so weird. Um <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, anyways. <laughs> Back to Pokemon. Uh, so we're going to put Clobopus right here in, this, in the fighting section. And let's see what his entries say. Oh, thank you, Naomi, for doing the timeouts. Um, that's the first time I've actually had to moderate someone in here, I think. Uh, and I don't really know how to do it. So apparently I can just click on them and kind of do it. Thank you so much, Naomi. I got them banned in time, I think. Hopefully they won't come back. <gasps> okay, so let's look at his Pokedex entries. Um, it's very curious, but its means of investigating things is to try to punch them with its tentacles. The search for food is what brings it onto land. Uh, its tentacles tear off easily, but it isn't alarmed when this happens. It knows they'll grow back. It's about as smart as a three-year-old. You know, I could have used a Clobopus in Outlast just now. I really could have used something that was ready to punch and not scared of getting their tentacles torn off when they punched. That would have been super, super useful. Wish I would have had one of you in my corner, Clobopus. <laughs> um, we are also going to, let's see where to go. We're also going to do the flying type. Um, for this one, I pick for this one the um, the kind of obvious choice, right? There's the Rookity line, which has the Rookity, Corvusquire, and Corviknight. Uh, I think there, I think Surfetched is also a flying type. I think there's like one more flying type in here. I'm trying to find it. But there might not be. I don't really remember. But let's see. Yeah, no, that's it. Okay, but I go with the obvious choice, and it is the Corviknight. He is just so cool looking. And in the game, when you have Corviknight, you like use him to like fly around, like you get flight paths in that, that particular version of Pokemon, and this is what you fly on. It's like just so fucking cool. 
All right. Um, this Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Ga Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. With their great intellect and flying skills, these Pokemon very successfully act as the Galar region's airborne taxi service. Oh, I just told you that. I didn't realize that was the Pokedex entry. Yeah, he's really beautiful. Like, this is one of the Pokemon that I'm like, oh, if that existed in real life, just imagine how amazingly beautiful that animal would be. So fucking cool. So those are the Gen 8 ones that we are going to do this time. And then we've got a few more, of course, because we usually do about five. But we're going to go to the search site now for the others because... We're done with the Gen 8 ones that we're going to look at. So the next one we're going to look at is we're going to look at a few more fighting types. So let's do fighting types. And we're going to look at Gen 2, the Gen 2 fighting type. And I'll show you guys the choices that we have for this. Let's do National Dex number. And then so we can do Heracross, Tyrogue, or Hitmontop. So we're not doing Mega Forms. And I really think that Heracross is really cool. He's bug fighting. Um, I really like him. I think he's he's really neato. And um, so let's reveal him and let's go look at his entry. All right. He's just kind of neat looking, right? And there's only three choices. And I'm just not really super into the Tyro line, you know, with the Hitmon top. And it's just meh. I like Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee so much better. So his entries, let's scroll down. This powerful Pokemon thrusts it pri its prized horn under its enemy's bellies, then lifts and throws them. Usually docile, but it disturbed while sipping honey, it chases off the intruder with its horn. So basically, it's all about using that horn to flip things. Um, Tyrogue, I'm feeling if it's a Victor Pokemon. Oh my god. Tyrogue would be the best Victor Pokemon, because depending on its stats will depend on how it evolves. Like, the way that this Pokemon works is if it's, like, I think if it's... If its defense defense is higher, it goes to Hitmon Lee, and if its like attack is higher, it goes to Hitmon Top um, Chan, and then if it's even, it goes to Hitmon Top, right? Um, so he's very cool. He's like a little baby fighting Pokemon that can evolve into three different other cool fighting Pokemon. So that is my choice here for Gen Two. So the next one we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at another fighting type. Um, <laughs> so I didn't really plan this exactly. But I did kind of think like, oh, you know, which ones do I want to do as we're kind of building this up? And I thought after a, 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 a horror game, I think I would really like to look at some fighting Pokemon. So I put a, a several fighting Pokemon on here. So this is the uh, another one, right? Um, let's see. Which one are we doing? Oh, I picked the wrong gen. It's supposed to be gen six, not gen four that we're looking at. Like, that's not right. Okay, gen six. We can do Chestnut, Pancham, Pangoro, or Hualucha. I really love the little pandas here, and I like Pancham, of course, because we always go with the cute ones. We always go with the cute ones, so Pancham is my choice here. And um, he's a little panda. He's a little fighting pandy, panda Pokemon. He's freaking adorable. Um, so let's look at his entries. It does its best to be taken seriously by its enemies, but its glare is not sufficiently intimidating. Chewing on a leaf is its trademark. It does its level best to glare and pull a scary face, but it can't help but grinning if anyone pats its head. Right? So it's like freaking adorable, but it's also a fighting type Pokemon. So of course, like I'm into it because I'm not super, super into the fight. Yes, if Aaron had a fighting Pokemon, it would be this guy. Oh my God. If she was ever going to have a fighting Pokemon, it would have to be this one no no questions asked right um because i'm not super into the fighting pokemons and of course not aaron wouldn't be either for y'all that don't know aaron is one of my ocs that i played several times with naomi and um, we have a ship with aaron and victor and oh problem children problem children we're playing them again sometime soon believe that okay so pan cham right here he's so cute he's so cute okay we're gonna do one more we're gonna do the psychic one for um Gen, it looks like seven, Gen seven. It always takes me a second to read <laughs> the, uh, it always takes me a second to read the Roman numerals. Okay, Gen seven psychic. This one, this one, y'all. Okay, so most of these here, like pretty much from Cosmog, no, from Tapu Lele down pretty much are like, they're basically uh, legendary, so I can't pick them. So really our only choices our pow, this one, pow, I never learned how to say this. Pau u ori, orio, ori, I think I'm not 100% sure how to say that one, right? So there's that guy, there's orangaroo, or there's bruxish. 
y'all, Bruxish is the most obnoxious looking Pokemon. And if you know me, you know I have an affinity for obnoxious and annoying things. And just like, look at this. Look at how ridiculous this thing looks. Oh my god, it's like every bright color, it's got ridiculous lips, it's got these big teeth, it's got eyelashes. Like, this is something a child designed. <laughs> so of course it's the one that we have to put here in this slot compared to those others, right? So that's where he goes, right there. Let's look at his entries. When it unleashes, there we go. When it unleashes its psychic power from the protuberance on its head, the grating sound of grinding teeth echoes through the area. <laughs> so it grinds its teeth and, and that's how it makes horrible sounds throughout the ocean. It stuns its prey with psychokinesis and then grinds them into mush with its strong teeth. Even Shelder's shells are no match for it. So it uses the hell out of those teeth. <laughs> I guess that's why it has such crazy lips, right? It says such crazy lips and teeth like that. I just love it. I, it's so obnoxious looking. It's so cool looking. Um, I love this Pokemon. So of course it goes on here. All right. So that's, that's, the, that's the new Pokemon that we're adding. Um, we're slowly getting through this. It's like it's filling out kind of, right? It's filling out kind of. And um, we're kind of going through, of course, and doing the ones that have uh, less choices on there first and kind of building up. Um, you know, some of these slots that we did early on, there just wasn't a lot of choices. But as you see, kind of as we're going, we're getting a little bit more and more choices as we go. So here's what we have it so far. Here, I'll move my camera for those of you that guys that haven't seen some of these ones that I'm covering it, covering up. So you can see I've got Dratini down here as well that you couldn't see because my camera was blocking him. But these are these are favorite Pokemon of mine that we're that we've got so far. All right, um, <laughs> that's uh, that's basically it for the stream. So, so I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna chill for you guys for a minute. So bear with me. Uh, as y'all can see now that the that like you can see the camera. Like oh my god, I'm like so shiny and so and so like pink. <sighs> Never again. Never again. <laughs> Uh, I love you guys, but, um, and I'm, I'm glad that, that several of you were entertained, but never again. <laughs> okay. Um, you can find me right here on Twitch every evening at around 6.30. I start, I go for about one or two hours stream in Thursday evenings. Yeah, I'm still super on edge. Um, you can also find me here on Twitch on Saturdays. That's where we do Interstage Window, which is my stream where it's, it's me playing a chill game while I have... Um, chats with my friends. Sometimes the chats are a little serious. Sometimes they're, you know, more chill. It just really depends on what we're talking about. I really, really strongly recommend that y'all go and watch last episode, the last episode we had of Inner Stage Window. It's the one that has um, aunties in the title. Please, please go watch that. Show it some love. That episode is really important um, to me and, and to, to the work that I do and um, trying to improve our community. So I would ask that you guys please go watch that stream. It's up on my YouTube channel, which is the other place you can find me. You can find me on YouTube. That's where um, Spare Room goes up, which is my scripted show about role play. So um, you can follow me here on Twitch down below. That's the little follow button down there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that fun, lovely, wonderful stuff. The other place where I actually post content, it's mostly advertising, but I do post some stuff there is my Twitter, which is It's Karen Terry. Uh, so go there for advertisements and hot takes. <laughs> and then um, last but not least, there is also my Discord and my Patreon and my PayPal and all of that wonderful stuff down below. If you're interested in any of that, you can find it in um, the little about section of my Twitch. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to go have, um, you know, a little, a little lay down for a second. <laughs> Try to calm down, you guys. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. Okay, see you later. See you Saturday, I hope, for some among us. All right, bye.